What is your risk appetite for eating fried tarantulas? What is your risk appetite for sending an email without rereading it at least once before? We all face risks in our life every day, at work, at home, in our relationships. Risk is something you deal with all the time. So we need a system to understand which risks to take first, which risks to prioritize. I want you to be equipped to understand how to choose those risks, how to take those risks in order to advance our mission. PSI has a risk management framework that is universal, that is designed to help you with that task. So use that risk management framework as your friend, as your guide, in helping to understand which risks to embrace. I'm Elise Mugabo, and I'm the Director of Enterprise Risk Management and Operational Excellence at PSI. In our organization and in our department, our objective as pertains to risk management is to empower all PSIers to work more independently as they make their decisions because they understand how their work and their decisions fit within the risk management and risk appetite of PSI. I hope by the end of this video, you'll understand how we meet that objective, what tools and resources are available to you um, to, to contribute toward that objective, what role you play, and um, who knows, you might even find out that risk management is fun. On many types of risk, okay, basically the risks are more related with non-compliance with the policies okay, in terms of uh, government compliance, like certain type of invoicing, supporting documents, document retention type of the risk. Uncontrollable forecast of ordering products for production. For example, um, our condom brand, number one, we have four flavors in previous year. Flavor of strawberry and rose are the best seller, but the orange has no order from the customer. But in this year, we order for those best seller or more. But unfortunately, the orange it's now out of stock. The concept of risk and the concept of risk management is pretty simple. Does that mean that the doing of risk management is also simple? Well, at PSI, we've tried to create some resources and tools that make it as easy as possible for everyone in their day-to-day -day work. I'm going to talk about six resources that you have available at your fingertips. The first tool I'm going to mention is our risk and compliance management policy. Not only will it help outline what your role is in risk management, it'll help to, you to better understand what our approach is to risk and compliance management at the organization. It sets the beginning framework for integrating risk and compliance management into our daily operations, it helps us to understand how risk management improves decision-making, accountability, and outcomes, and it helps us to understand how we incorporate risk appetite into our strategic and operational decision-making. The risk universe is basically a catalog of risks that any organization potentially or definitely faces in their day-to-day -day work as they work towards achieving the organization's strategic objectives and priorities and how and when we at PSI are working towards catalyzing sustained health impact for those that we serve. risk appetite because this is the cool part where we start empowering our employees to work more independently in their decision making. 
We have defined the risk appetite at the corporate level that helps us to identify where it is not prudent for the organization to take risks, either because we can't accept the consequences of those risks or the consequences of those risks um, would prevent us from achieving our strategic objectives and priorities. And the risk appetite also helps us to identify where it's really important for us to take risks, because that's going to be the main way that we achieve our objectives and priorities. Our four levels of risk appetite are risk averse, risk cautious, risk tolerant, and risk seeking. The responsibility matrix is one that helps us to all understand and exercise our responsibilities and who is involved when in decision-making around the organization. We spend a lot of time streamlining that responsibility matrix to minimize the number of stakeholders involved in the decision and to push decision-making down and out as much as possible so that there was less bureaucracy involved with getting decisions made at PSI. Risk Operational Positioning Review. It is an Excel-based risk matrix that every network member fills in at least once per year in which they rate their risk levels against the PSI risk universe and risk appetite. It serves as a great tool for discussing risk and risk mitigation needs at the local office level but also for raising red flags as high as the executive team and seeking support in solutions for intimidating risks that each of you face in your day-to-day -day work. The next resource is the OPEX team. And we love it when people ask us questions and want to uh, have some help and some support. We can do that ourselves, but we can also do that by guiding you to our SharePoint site, which we keep updated on a very regular basis. Manuel des procédures de PSI qui permet d'éviter de ne pas d'entrer en violation avec les procédures. Beaucoup, je pense, Manuel de gestion des ressources humaines. Euh, il y a aussi tous les documents référentiels par rapport au projet, euh, mm -hmm. les orientations, les exigences des bailleurs, euh, des bailleurs pour euh, le projet, mais aussi la discussion avec les collègues. Donc, énormément de discussions de, avec les collègues pour essayer de, de voir aussi si, de, comment je dirais, de confronter ma perception par rapport à celle des autres collègues pour euh, m'assurer que, <rire> voilà, qu'il n'y ait pas de que le risque d'être trop subjectif dans la prise de décision soit quand même minimisé. Il y a des outils nécessaires pour pouvoir gérer les risques. Mais si on n'a rien fait, le risque est là. On se retrouve maintenant au point de courir dans tous les sens. Et, et, et ça rend la vie plus difficile. Donc on est en train de courir dans tous les sens parce qu'on n'a on a pas préparé effectivement le risque avant. Todos los días estamos involucrados en la gestión de riesgo eh, porque tomamos decisiones activamente. Esto debemos de analizar que puede impactar positivamente o negativamente mm, los objetivos de la organización. Por el bienestar del personal en tanto que delegado, uh, se sería que el personal no se sienta bien en su peau en trabajando por uh, Pesimali. Un personal que no está bien en su peau c'est clair qu'il ne sera pas efficace dans le travail qui, qui, qui lui est confié. Et donc là, c'est de faire de telle sorte qu'il soit bien dans sa peau. Et s'il n'est pas bien dans sa peau, c'est clair qu'il ne sera pas efficace. S'il n'est pas efficace, ça va de, de façon crescendo, ce boule de neige, il n'est pas bien dans sa peau. Les données, euh, le travail ne sera pas bien fait. Si le travail n'est pas bien fait, les bailleurs ne seront pas satisfaits de nous. Si les bailleurs ne sont pas satisfaits de nous, Pêche va être fermé. Si Pêche est fermé, on va se retrouver à la maison. Donc, euh, ce ne serait pas très intéressant. Voilà un peu. I think I, I raise a bus because I always like to plan everything ahead. <laughs> this is a difficult question, okay. From the organization perspective, I should be the risk covers. Okay. The role I'm assigned, I should not take the risk. Okay. I should try to minimize the risk. Okay. But sometimes 
uh, we can be risk seeking also. Like if you are going for the bidding. Bon, je pense que ça dépend du type de risque. Parce qu'il y a des risques qui peuvent ternir l'image de votre entreprise. Considero que es necesario tomar ciertas decisiones basadas en una información sólida que nos permita minimizar el riesgo y que nos conlleve al cumplimiento de un objetivo. So remember everyone, we all face risks in our lives every day. We need to take risks to achieve PSI's mission. The risk management framework we have in place helps you understand which risks to take first and fastest. Use this framework as your friend in embracing the right risks for PSI. What is your risk appetite for letting a chicken stand on your head? What is your risk appetite for swimming a mile in open water? I wish I could, but probably not.